Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a couple of, um, well, I went ahead and did a makeup look and um, have been trying to do a video, had a couple of technical problems, but I guess we'll go ahead and get started now. As far as what I have on today, I have the Super Good Glow Oil with the SPF 50, the True Match, and this one is in Cool One. And then I did go ahead and use the, uh, let's see, uh, Pretty Fresh Concealer by ColourPop as well. So that's what I have on for the base. And then as far as what I went ahead and did on the lips today, I used the Lippy Pencil from ColourPop in O Snap. And the next, um, this is one of their Butter Glosses. So yeah, that's what I have on there. Uh, as far as what I went ahead and did for bronzer and cheeks today, I used the, let's see, this is the Heat Wave Sunrise Bronzer by Flower Beauty. And it's a great one. It has a mauve sort of rose kind of look to it. So, yeah, if you're looking for a rosy kind of bronzer, this one is definitely one of the affordable ones out there. And then, um, again, that's Flower Beauty. Most of what I did today was Glam Light. And with Glam Light, they do the holographic uh, packaging. So this is from the Scooby-Doo collection. And um, it's the blush palette. I went ahead and used this one over here. And it has a fingerprint in it. It's so cute. And then this one has a flower in it. And they're just, uh, it's just a really fun collection. And uh, more holographics. So they go from Scooby and Shaggy to the scary guys. And I went ahead and used um, this highlighter down in the bottom. And it's one that shifts gold. It has a lot of glitter in it. So you do sh see actual glitter on your cheeks. But again, another fun one. As far as what I did for the eye look today, use the big Scooby-Doo palette, and it's one of my favorites from 2023. And again, the holographic packaging, I mean, you just can't beat that part. And um, I did go ahead and use the green row today, or the, yeah, the green row. So I put this in the crease, uh, this one right on top. Um, let's see what else. I did this one in the outer corner and then this one on the lid itself and then this really pretty light one on the outer corner from down here all the way to up there. And so it's all green except for this one which I have on the inner corner. Um, but it's really pretty palette. I would definitely recommend it to anybody or to everybody. And then I did go ahead and use some of the Koki and uh, the Emrite eyeliner here. And it came off a little bit more blue than I thought that it was going to come out. But, you know, it works. And it's kind of cool having a different color on the bottom. And um, the only other thing that I don't think I've mentioned is the Glowish Powder and Fair. So I had that one. And then I also did use the Essence Thick and Wow in Caramel Blonde. And yes, I have stuff trying to fall off my lap here. So Caramel Blonde. And then the Sky High uh, Mascara. And I used both the primer and the actual mascara itself. So that's what I have on there. As far as uh, what the video is actually about, it's kind of a different kind of love story. And I was lucky enough about five years ago um, to go ahead and get a dog from ARF. And they are a group that goes ahead and places dogs in their rescue, a dog rescue. And the dog that I got was named Pippa. She's been on the channel a couple of times couple of times and she was about seven years old when we got her we were kind of concerned of getting an older dog um, but at the same time it was just a really good fit 
and so now five years later and she did finally pass and it was really difficult and it was in stage renal disease and unfortunately with that one it's a silent killer in dogs as soon as they start showing symptoms they're usually at about 60 to 75 percent of their renal their kidney uh, function is gone by that point with her, it was about 90%, and she only had about four days left. So it was really sad, and it was a lot of stuff going on all at once. And um, But what I wanted to do, and I've tried doing this uh, video before, is first off, I want to first off tell you how much, what a just good dog I mean, if you ever had the chance to adopt an older dog, do it. Dogs are used to being in packs, so one dog is okay, but two or three dogs, they just think that that's the best thing ever because they want to be in a pack. That's, you know, how they're... Um, how they're raised and everything. So if you have the chance to add an older dog to your pack, I'd say definitely go ahead and do so. Um, my experience was that I found a dog that just wanted to be part of the family. She wanted a routine. She wanted to, you know, do all the stuff with us that, you know, family dogs do. So, um, and she was so incredibly grateful for everything. It was just pretty amazing to have her as a dog. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Um, decided to come on and do the best thing that I could do for for her in her memory and I think that would be just to spread the word that um, if you have the chance to adopt an older dog do it because usually there's so much love and they want to they want to do and um, so uh, this is my remembrance of her it's her um, funeral and it's also doing the best thing that we could do in the particular circumstance that we have and in memory of her um pippa the good girl <laughs> pippa the puppy um just if you ever had the chance remember this video and take a chance and do it because it's worth it and five years of love for one week of you know difficulty isn't it's so worth it just take a take a jump take a leap and go ahead and do it because nine times out of ten it'll be worth it so uh that's my video and i think we did everything and um again thank you for coming to the funeral i really appreciate it and hopefully some good comes out of it so i'll see you later bye